it's never been easier to get started regardless of your experience level as it is with this new release. Not only do we have a stunning new guidebook packed with techniques and tips from industry designers, the insights from the experts, these video tutorials, but also many areas within the suite have been completely redesigned with a new approach to help you to get it right. Power Trace has been improved and even something as simple as starting a new document has been upgraded. Check this out. The Create a New Document dialog now has all the settings you'll ever need to get it right. Name your document, choose one of the many presets, do you want to work with CMYK for professional print or are you designing for the web? Choose your page size and there are many to choose from or you can choose the primary colour mode you want to work in, what resolution and what preview mode. For advanced users you have choice over many colour profiles and have you noticed as I hover the description area updates for those who need clarification of the controls and settings. In addition to this, PhotoPaint now also offers choice of colour mode and colour profile settings. All of this to help you to get going quickly. And now to help you learn quickly, hover your mouse over any tool to display the new and improved tooltip. And when you select a tool, the hint docker will automatically update with information on how to use that tool. And then for more help, come up to the help menu. Here in the help menu, you can access your standard help, more video tutorials such as you're looking at now that go into a lot of depth as to how the new tools and many features work, and the guidebook. The guidebook is a tremendous resource for instant step-by-step -step instructions. And for some really inspiring help, choose insights from the experts. Here in the welcome screen, you can access one of the many portrayals of how an expert has produced their artwork, as well as all the other options that are available. And Highlight What's New allows you to select the last version of CorelDRAW you worked with. By doing this, you'll highlight in orange all of the new and improved tools and features. Well, there's just a few things from the help menu so you can get going quickly. There are often times when you either have received a bitmap image from a customer or you've had to scan an image and you need to work with it. But of course what you can do is limited, recolouring, reshaping, etc. By using Corel's Power Trace, we can turn a bitmap with jagged edges into a beautiful vector-based image with nice smooth edges that we can recolour and reshape. Let me show you how it works. I'll delete this and I'll select my bitmap image and up here on the property bar I can choose Trace Bitmap. Click and I'm going to choose Outline Trace and Detailed Logo. And after only a few seconds of calculation we have a perfectly smooth vectorized image of our original bitmap. Now because this is a vector based image of course we can now recolor and if there were any edits required, we'd be able to use the shape tool and reshape in any area needed. And X5 supports the new Windows Touch features. Resize an object, move, zoom in, zoom out. I can scroll up and down or left and right. I had a lot of fun playing on this HP Touch machine, as you can see. If we go over to Photo Paint, I can tap and place some butterflies wherever I want, become more creative, draw a row of butterflies, or I can even write my name to say, hey, that's mine. 